D. Walsh had this image of Kanika and she sent it to me and it blew my mind because I had never seen this specific image of Kanika and what it looks like. Um, what it looks like to me is a, uh, a hematoma, a, a pop knot, a, um, a goose egg on her um, forehead. That's what it looks like to me. And you can see the shadow of it. Um, but like I've said, I think across the board. All right. If you're wondering, I didn't realize that the recording was picking up a hell of a chick's uh, live that she I had playing in the background. But what I've done is I've taken one with a wide screen and one with the regular screen, and I've slowed down Kanika walking out of the elevator in the attempt to try to capture the same image that they were discussing on her live the other night since i missed most of it i wasn't able to do it then and i'm just now catching up or trying to catch up with a lot of things on youtube here um i'm not going to say a whole lot about what i'm thinking or what i'm seeing i'm just showing you and you can come to your own conclusions I think is the safest way to do this. Um, Okay, that was the wide screen, and now this is the regular size uh, media player screen as it was downloaded from the case file. Not a whole lot of difference, but a little bit. And again, I'll let you make your own judgments. And there we're going to compare it to another hallway when she comes walking down. be a fly on the wall and listen to that conversation between the guy that was making the dragging motion and the other guy. Um, and what Honeybee said was, is there a lip reading program that we could plug that into? And I'm going to make a note to check on that too. Um, my grandfather was nearly deaf and from his hard work in the coal mines. And he was also a gunnery sergeant in the Marine Corps. And that didn't help either. But I used to know a lot of information about that type of stuff. Oh, hi, Tasha Murphy. Right, Lisa. 969 Williams. It's strange. I don't know. But clearly, there is something on that forehead. Is it a pop knot? Or is it? Bad editing. Thanks, D. Walsh. That's the now, this is not doing on this hall what I would hope to have had happened to be able to see more clear. You only get a split second to see right at the end here. Look at my videos. I'm not one of those people that sees the shadow man and all that stuff. Um, So what I've done here is I've gone back to the original size of the footage, played it again, and I'm pausing it to take a screenshot and try to get her in the same frame that they had her in in the screenshot that they were discussing. 
and after I get her in the exact same framing of it, I'm taking the screenshot and going to compare the two screenshots side by side. Now, if you feel like you see anything that sticks out or if you are seeing one thing or another, please feel free to say so in the comments. Um, after I get through adjusting these, there's going to be about a 30 second uh time lapse where I'm just going to have the two sitting right next to each other lined up almost perfectly to the right size and everything. This is my end result of what I captured side by side with the capture that they had. I can say my opinion that we are going to see more and more of this as the time passes because of the public not having the access to the original footage because of not downloading it. I'm in no way saying Hell of a Chick did anything deceiving wise. I'm just saying that it's hard, even as an expert in the details of this case, to catch something, especially from a screenshot, if you don't have that original footage from the case file to be able to compare things to.